In July 2025, Yellowstone National Park suddenly became the focus of worldwide attention when visitors began noticing unusual patterns in the behavior of its wildlife. Across the wide valleys and open plains, animals that usually roamed freely, elk, bison, deer, and even smaller creatures, started moving together in large numbers. Instead of staying in the lower grasslands, they began heading uphill toward the ridges and mountainsides. The sight was breathtaking but also unsettling. Massive herds that normally spread out were now gathering as one, marching toward higher ground in a way that seemed purposeful. Tourists filmed the strange behavior, and within hours, videos spread across social media, stirring conversations and concern. To some viewers, it looked like a beautiful display of migration, but others wondered if the animals were sensing something hidden beneath the earth that humans could not yet detect. The fear came from Yellowstone's unique nature. This park is not just a sanctuary for wildlife and geothermal wonders. It sits on top of one of the largest active supervolcanoes in the world. Beneath its forests and rivers lies the Yellowstone Caldera, a vast volcanic system so powerful that if it erupted on a massive scale, it could affect not only the United States but the entire planet. The last major eruption happened roughly 640,000 years ago, and though scientists have always said another is not likely any time soon, the idea of such destructive force beneath the ground keeps people on edge. For decades, the U.S. Geological Survey has monitored Yellowstone carefully, measuring tremors, ground shifts, and gas emissions. That is why when animals began behaving strangely, people immediately thought of the supervolcano. In the months leading up to this event, scientists had recorded swarms of small earthquakes around Yellowstone. These tremors were too weak to damage buildings but were unusual in their frequency. Geologists explained that such low-level seismic activity is often part of normal underground movement, but when combined with the sudden, large-scale migration of wildlife, the meaning seemed different. Many began asking, were the animals sensing something our instruments had missed? It is well known that animals can detect changes in the environment that humans cannot, such as faint vibrations, tiny shifts in temperature, or gases released from deep below the ground. Living for centuries in an active geothermal region, Yellowstone's animals may have developed sharper instincts to notice these changes, allowing them to react before people even realize something is happening. Despite the growing unease, Yellowstone remained open. Thousands of tourists still arrived daily to watch Old Faithful erupt, marvel at its colorful hot springs, and explore its wilderness. Yet behind the scenes, rangers and scientists kept close watch. They tracked the herds, noted their routes, and compared their movement to past migrations. The scale of the migration was undeniable. Tens of thousands of animals, moving together as though driven by a silent warning. Then came a discovery that deepened concerns. Amateur researchers, monitoring Yellowstone through its live cameras, began to notice a dome-shaped rise forming on the surface of the land. At first, it was easy to dismiss as a trick of the light, but the researchers carefully compared screenshots over several months. When old and new images were placed side by side, the difference was clear. The ground was lifting. This kind of bulge is often caused by magma pushing upward, filling underground chambers and forcing the surface to swell. It was a process scientists knew well, one that sometimes precedes volcanic activity. Ground uplift by itself is not unusual in volcanic regions, and Yellowstone has experienced minor rises and falls before. But this dome seemed larger and more consistent than normal, raising the possibility that molten rock was gathering beneath the park. With Yellowstone's history of three massive eruptions in the last 2.1 million years, each one reshaping the global climate, the very idea of pressure building beneath the caldera was enough to reignite fear. The world watched closely, asking if the herds of animals fleeing to higher ground were nature's first warning of something much bigger waiting to unfold. About 640,000 years ago, Yellowstone's last major eruption covered much of North America in ash, changed the global climate, and permanently alter the landscape. Since then, the park has experienced smaller hydrothermal explosions and earthquakes, but nothing close to the scale of a super eruption. Still, the geological record is a constant reminder that Yellowstone is alive, not dormant, and the appearance of a bulge on the surface could mean the underground system is shifting once again.
scientists gave two main explanations for the rising dome. The first, and most likely, was magma pushing upward from deep inside the Earth. As magma collects in underground chambers, it increases pressure and forces the ground above to swell, often forming a dome-shaped uplift. The steady, consistent growth of the Yellowstone bulge seemed to support this idea. The second possibility involved the park's hydrothermal system, the same system responsible for geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles. If underground water became superheated and trapped under pressure, it could also cause the land to rise. However, experts agreed that the scale and shape of the bulge suggested magma movement was the stronger explanation. If magma was indeed accumulating beneath Yellowstone, the stakes were high. The more magma that rises, the more pressure builds, and the greater the chances of an eruption. No scientist can predict the exact timing of such an event, but the risk increases as underground activity intensifies. The range of possible eruptions at Yellowstone is wide. A smaller event might release lava flows or send ash into the sky, damaging parts of the park and nearby towns without spreading much farther. At the other extreme, the supervolcano could unleash a catastrophic eruption, one of the most destructive natural disasters possible on Earth. The effects of such a super eruption would be devastating. In Yellowstone and the surrounding states, forests, rivers, and towns would be destroyed in the blast. Thick ash would blanket the land, making it hard to breathe, poisoning crops, and crushing roofs under its weight. Across North America, air travel would grind to a halt, power grids would fail, and millions of people would face disruption from the fallout. On a global scale, the explosion would send massive amounts of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and lowering temperatures around the world. Scientists call this a volcanic winter. Crops could collapse, food shortages would spread, and weather patterns could shift for years, challenging humanity in ways not seen in modern history. These alarming possibilities made monitoring more urgent than ever. The U.S. Geological Survey already relied on satellites, radar, and seismic instruments to track Yellowstone's activity, but the new bulge and unusual animal behavior called for even closer watch. Amateur researchers were encouraged to keep sharing their findings as well, since independent eyes sometimes notice patterns that official systems miss. Scientists also stressed that the public needed accurate information. Panic could cause chaos, but awareness and preparation might save lives if the worst happened. Then came more signs that Yellowstone was restless. A swarm of earthquakes rattled the region, many too small to cause damage but striking in their frequency and clustering. For geologists, such swarms often mean underground fluids or magma are moving. Before people could process that news, Yellowstone delivered an even more dramatic warning. At Biscuit Basin, one of the park's famous geothermal areas, a violent hydrothermal explosion shook the ground. A hot spring erupted without warning, blasting scalding steam, rocks, and debris high into the air. Tourists standing on the boardwalk screamed as the ground trembled beneath their feet. Some fled in panic while others raised their phones, capturing footage of the terrifying event. Within hours, the videos were spreading online, fueling fears that Yellowstone's hidden power was beginning to surface once again.